What's going on, my people? <clears throat> Sai So. Love y'all. It's good to talk to y'all, man. If any of y'all in the football or sports and on this Super Sunday, <clears throat> 54 Super Bowl. Anyway, that ain't what we're here for, though. Um, I basically just wanted to just express why it's important to <clears throat> allow yourself to be vulnerable when you are being who you are. What I mean by that is don't hold back something that you may want to say. If you feel like you in your heart, you need to say it or ask him for help for a problem based upon what reaction, like the fear of the reaction that you may receive. That could be like if you just going after love and you meeting somebody and you may be afraid to, to tell them like, you're emotional or, or you're a little bit sensitive because you're worried about what they're saying. And um, that will only lead to problems down the road because you weren't vulnerable enough to be received as who you are naturally. And I believe in that a lot. So I started like me, I started letting myself like just open up about certain things when I like to certain people <clears throat> expressing certain issues that I used to struggle with or some that I'm still working through. And the more and more that you allow yourself to be vulnerable, allow yourself to um be receptive to feedback. And what I mean by feedback, I don't mean negative criticism. I mean feedback from a standpoint of somebody giving you another viewpoint on something. Someone um maybe like challenging you to see something from a another light. <clears throat> I could have just said the same thing twice, but anyhow, you know, it's important, man. It's important that we allow ourselves that vulnerability. You know, like if a kid wants to learn how to ride a bike, you know, he, he has to allow himself to get on there. Maybe he may fall. He's vulnerable to falling, but what he does is he builds strength and he learns and he grasps the concept. And then more and more, you build more confidence. And now he's riding a bike. It's the same thing in life, you know. I don't believe in making yourself vulnerable in terms of letting people harm you physically and things like that, you know. But a lot of the times we hold ourselves back. We hold certain parts of ourselves back because we fear how it's going to be received or judged by others. But what happens is, is we restrict ourselves. So those people in turn see us one way. And then by the time that we try to get them to see us for who we truly are, it's too late. They already know us one way. But also on the flip side of that is being vulnerable to know that, hey, my truth may turn somebody off. Your truth may... Make somebody switch against you if it doesn't fit in line with what they believe, you know? Yeah, you're vulnerable to those things too, but at least at least honesty is being honesty is what's being um discovered in that process. So more importantly, this is not going to be a long video. I just wanted to say that. Um, any of y'all that that are currently going through a spiritual awakening, if you see any of these feathers laying on the ground, pick them up. Could be your ancestors calling you. Angel feathers. Could be a sign for whatever that may mean for your life. Got this nice crystal in my hand. I got it from Venice Beach in Los Angeles, California. So... 
This definitely means something. I can't recall. I can't remember the name of it, though. I'll be honest with you. Somebody did tell me, though, what it meant. And it was definitely in line with everything because it's definitely about leadership. It's definitely about leadership. So, I love y'all. Peace, love, light, always. To the next time, Sai Soul. Oh, yeah, I got... San Francisco 49ers over the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl 54, score 24-20.